like to thank a couple of new subscribers here to Big Songs Lawn Care. We have Drew2964 Mush Band. And we have Rebel Hicks 72 b and Willie Banks. And we also have Kyle. Thank these new subscribers for coming on board with Big Sarge Lawn Care. All right. Okay. We're back with another one here. See if I can get a little better footage today. Um, got an in townhouse unit. And mostly weeds. Guess we get that cleaned out a little bit. See if we can't get everything trimmed down. Okay, not much back here. Not much to the back here. Just a matter of that's getting get things looking a little bit neater here. with Big Sons, we're back, and got it cleaned up a little bit there, um, basically weeds, grass hasn't started growing, but another nice day here in the 757, so knocked that down the beds and sprayed it down, some quick pro. I think they're trying to get this place on the market Monday. Um, yeah, I'll tell you a little story how I got involved with uh, realtors now. There's some horror stories as well, because I did have one that did not pay, but one out of four wasn't bad. And I've got some pretty good business behind it. But I remember uh, one day I was sitting at home, man, a couple of years ago, and things were slow. It was a Thursday. I'll never forget it. And I said, man, I got to get some business. I said, well, how in the world can I figure out how to get some business, you know? And I just went driving out and I picked the neighborhood right behind uh, my 7-Eleven. And I, I, I picked the worst yards that had realtor signs in them. And I took pictures and text them a price. And I think out of the nine yards, I got a call from one. And that one has turned into a business relationship for quite some years. So that's how I got involved with a realtor um, and doing some of their properties. And also, you're going to experience this too. I lost one of the good ones. This season, man, lost a great customer. Uh, it was a bi-weekly, it was an empty house. Could go anytime, you know, and just keep it cleaned up. And uh, always paid on time. And it was, just, it was just one of those spots, you know, if I needed to do some, some work on a moor or whatever in the yard, in between yards, you know, it was one of those yards you could do it with if you weren't close to home. And they finally sold the house. It had been empty for over 10 years. It was just really falling apart. 
but just to keep the city off of them, you know, they had me to go by. So I touched bases with them last week, and they were like, nope, we finally sold it. So that happens, man. You know, um, you build those relationships, but they don't last forever. But it's good when you have them, okay? All right, well, all right, well it's going to be a wrap here. That's all I really got to do today, so still, what time is it? Uh, uh, 10.55, I still got a day. All right.